Hello and welcome to this tutorial from libreprogramming.org. This is Shushankar Dhyal and I welcome you to this part of a tutorial in which we will learn about the last function of string copying functions that is str and cpy. Now str and cpy is a secure form of str cpy. Also please note that the video is recorded at 720p so in YouTube please adjust your settings to 720p for optimal font trending although I have zoomed this particular function so that you can read it. Now you can read this for yourself by pausing the video and this is the signature of strn cpy. So the only difference is it takes an extra argument that is the maximum number of uh, characters which will be copied from destination source to destination our source is s2 and destination is s1 now this implementation uh, is uh, similar to strcpy it is straight away taken from your uh, man page so i didn't even implement this so it is taken from man page of str and cpy so you have a variable size underscore ti and that is a loop counter normally loop counters are declared uh, in for loop but uh, here i is declared because it, it, later also i will be used to copy the extra bytes or fill in with the uh, backslash zero in case it is the counter of i is less than n because the specification is like that so it's pretty simple program so source is there and then destination is there I'm copying 8 uh, bytes so entire source string will be copied because source is 6 and backslash 0 will be 7 and then entire will be copied so how it copies so it will start from 0 and it there are two conditions now that is I should be less than n and also s2 that is the source byte should not be null byte and if uh, both conditions pass then it copies and after that if i still remains less than n then it makes sure that it has copied n bytes by filling rest of the bytes with zero so i have already compiled this lots of dogs in this area they bark all the time so it just displays source now let's see what happens if we give less than what we are supposed to okay so it prints so you are now if you look at the specification again then what it says the str and cpy function copies not more than n characters characters that follow a null character are not copied from the array pointed but to by s2 to the array pointed to by s1 if copying takes place between objects that overlap the behavior is undefined if the array pointed to by s2 is a string that is shorter than n characters, null characters are appended to copy pointed to the copy in the array pointed to by s1 until n characters in all have been written. Now, if there is no char null character in the first n characters of the array pointed to by s2, the result will not be null terminated. So that means, look at this uh, uh, footnote here we gave only 4 so s o u r so how come the string got null terminated because destination was initialized with all zeros that is why now let's say we do not null terminate this okay. so you might hear dogs barking in background but i can't help it so still it works now <coughs> let's see what is the value of that particular character at that particular place percentage of destination I'm four so this should be four right okay let's print d not c let's see the ascii value So SK value is 0 so somehow it has got the value 0 over here that is why the string is null terminated but the uh, footnote clearly says if there are no null characters in first n characters of the string that is first 4 bytes of s2 
the result will not be null terminated the null is coming from elsewhere so that brings us to end of this particular uh, video in which we have discussed str and cpy and i'll further follow this with str cat str and cat and then comparison functions and so on so let's see so comparison functions then search functions and then the mem set and str error so we'll finish all these functions we'll f try to implement as many as we can certain times it will be difficult to implement those functions like printf and scanf are difficult to implement because the real code is hidden i mean and those also involve device drivers and those things because they interact with keyboard and monitor so kind of difficult to Im implement and uh, kind of out of scope of uh, discussion of c programming so thanks for watching the video if you like this particular one then you can hit like uh, otherwise you can also hit dislike it's all up to you thanks and uh, also make sure that uh, you visit libreprogramming.org this is uh, localhost so you can go to libreprogramming.org and uh, you can see this book over here uh, what i have done is um say if you go to this so the videos which I have prepared, I have started embedding them in the book itself so that you can read and watch the video also. So for example, I have added three videos in this one. And uh, then in fifth chapter, I have uh, put in one, say over here, I guess. Okay. So over here, two videos are there. So I would recommend that you go here and read and watch the videos also thanks happy programming